It's Thursday the 15th of July and I just saw something interesting. I was half a block from the Coast Guard station and this odd alert sound went off and a few minutes later I noticed that the Coast Guard guys were firing up their boat and getting prepared to launch. Some were in a hurried state and others, <laughs> you know, it took about 10 minutes for them to finally uh, depart, but um, a couple of the guys approached a odd red tube at the side of the building and pulled out their guns and you know it was a it was a protective tube and they put their barrels in it and uh, loaded their weapons put their um, clips in and and it's like yeah, a few of them were wearing bulletproof vests, so it's like, what's going on? Anyway, uh, they finally left. They, I, I got a little clip of it, but it was pretty dramatic. Uh, they blasted the horn, you know, they were going code, code 1, which, well, I don't know if it's code 1, but their lights were, you know flashing and they didn't have a siren on so it technically I don't suppose it was code one but anyway they once they sounded the horn and exited the uh, breakwaters they just tore out and uh, yeah it was pretty dramatic and powerful and uh, yeah anyway uh, the Bayfield police showed up and an ambulance showed up too uh, in the meantime so I'm wondering what's up what's going on uh, initially I thought they were maybe going to bring someone back under arrest but uh, with an ambulance uh, at the Coast Guard station now I wonder you know what's the story so I'm gonna hang uh, in the area and maybe find out So the general layout of the land, that immediate uh, piece of land over here is Long Island. It's actually a very long peninsula. Here we have um, <laughs> La Pointe on Madeline Island, and you can see the ferries crossing paths one coming here one going there Madeline Island Madeline Island Madeline Island Madeline Island Madeline Island here we see Basswood Island uh, the real uh, the island coming out just you can barely see it I'm not sure what island that is uh, uh, to be honest, um, I, I don't, you know, the possibilities could be Michigan Island, you know, it's, it could possibly be Mich Michigan Island. And over here, we have, I believe that is Oak Island, and you can't see around the corner, but 
uh, this is the mainland and Red Cliff Point and would be uh, parallel to Basswood Island. <laughs> anyway, Bayfield is such a beautiful, beautiful little town and noted that it's um, protected from notorious Great Lakes storms because of the Apostle Islands. It's a natural barrier. I believe I see the Coast Guard boat coming back, so I'm gonna go uh, investigate. They're backing in. They looked like they were going to make an arrest, but the ambulance showed up, so... It's noted that this is a great place for wildlife um, on the list. Bears, fox, coyotes, um, barred owl, probably deer. Oh, um, Martin and Bear. This spot, incidentally, is called the Big Ravine, and it's seriously cool. Um, I think it was October 1942 that there was a flash flood in the city of Bayfield and um, yeah it it a torrent of water rushed down this ravine and um, 
did a lot of damage to the area of town that it would cut through. I believe it. The wall of water slammed right through a bakery and ripped up streets, buried half buried cars in mud. No one was killed, but a half a million dollars in damage was done. And they made improvements to it uh, since to prevent such a event from happening again. And this, this is so cool. Um, this ravine provided Bayfield initially with a lot of water. And um, yeah, water was in abundance for the town of Bayfield back in the day. This is a pretty cool spot. Um, I believe that this is the remains of the reservoir that used to hold the water in place to be piped down to the city and it was destroyed in the flood of 1942. Yeah. This is the Andrew Carnegie Library in Bayfield, built in 1903, I believe, and underwent a restoration that was just completed. They just handed the keys back over to the staff a couple days ago, and it was a treat to walk in the front door today because the librarian yesterday told me that very few people have had entered through the front door since it reopened and um, yeah yeah Carnegie Library 1903 I told the the shared with the librarian stories that we lost our own Carnegie Library in St. Cloud Minnesota because they didn't they didn't have the foresight or the value to to preserve it and I shared memories of going into the basement of the library and checking out eight millimeter films me and my brothers and watching them at home um, Nosferatu the silent version uh, was definitely a conjured images <laughs> and memories. Um, yeah, we. I shared stories of the La Pointe, Madeline Island Library that is.
my all-time favorite library in the world. Um, and uh, they were showing movies there one afternoon. And our elementary school, Clearview, used to check out 16 millimeter prints from the St. Claude Library and show them on Saturdays every once in a while. Um, but that was a fond memory, seeing the black hole on a 16 millimeter print projected in the gym <laughs> where I would later crack my head open playing playing what game, you know, dodgeball, not dodgeball, uh, some called it murder ball, I was almost killed during the game, uh, a, a, one of the small balls was rocketed by the hand of an athletic fifth or sixth grader and hitting me in the head and my head slammed against the uh, the gym wall, resulting in a uh, golf ball sized um, um, goose egg on my forehead and two black eyes later on. Yeah, those were the days.